Welcome, y'all. I'm back with another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. All right. So, this is going to be um, a what's the tea? Okay. We're going to see how your person feels about you. All right. So, y'all can grab y'all wine glasses. And for my fellas, y'all can grab y'all little beer mugs and come hang out with me. All right. Good vibes, good vibes, okay? All right, so if you are new to the channel, this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. We would love to have you here. If this message happens to resonate with you, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to share with your family and your friends and hit that like button, guys, okay? So let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Let's talk. How do they feel about my subscribes? My subscribers. How do they feel? What message do you have? Show me the tea. What's the tea? Show me how they feel. Oh, y'all got a lot of messages that want to jump out. Like the T wants to come out so bad. <laughs> Let me sage these cards. Y'all person a little stubborn. All right, so let's see. What do they want to tell them? All right. How do they feel? Oh. <laughs> They want to give this relationship a chance. They also want to let you know that it's safe for you to kind of like let your guard down. But at the same time, they want you to keep an open mind, okay? They're staying very optimistic. Um, so they're, they're thinking pretty heavily about you. Like they have positive thoughts when they think about you. Um, and they feel like you are like a romance of a lifetime. Like they feel like the, what you guys have going or what you, what you guys can be is definitely something true. And I'm also seeing a reconciliation. So for a lot of you, this is someone from your past that wants to come back in and reconcile with you, wants to, um, give this a second chance It's definitely somebody from the past. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. What do they want to say? Can you accept me as I am? Can you accept me as I am? I know we will be together. <laughs> I know we will be together. I'm ignoring other people. Now, I did see this at the bottom of the deck when the first one popped out. 
So there really are ignoring other people. I really miss you. My heart hurts. Okay. So this person is definitely missing you. They are missing you and they want to know if you will accept them. Are, are you willing to accept them flaws and all? Do you accept them how they come? Okay. Um, but in their mind, they really feel like this is a romance of a lifetime. Like this, you are the one for them. Um, they want to know, you know, can we get back together? Can we bring this back together? Can we work through this? And they're pretty positive. Like they're pretty positive that, that they can have you again. That's the thing about it. And they are ignoring other people to come back to you. Like if you guys were to reconcile, they are willing to ignore other people. They're willing to shut other people out um, to be with you. I think that's sweet. I think that's real sweet. And that is amazing. All right, so let's see if there's any blockages. What's blocking? What are the blockages? What's in the way? Oh, okay. All right. So, like I said, like when it comes to can you accept me as I am, I feel like there is possibly like someone has some type of habits. Um, there could be conditions, health conditions, things of that nature, like something that um, would take a, a someone to really, truly love you to deal with. Uh, for some of you, it could be addictions. It could be... Uh, mental health issues, behavioral issues, whatever the case may be, okay? They're wanting to know, um, would you be able to accept that, okay? For some of you with true love, we got marriage here. Some of you, um, this is someone that you're married to, you possibly split, um, or even if someone could be married here in a situation, is that something that you're willing to accept, um, also at the bottom of the deck here, we got false person. Okay, so there's a false person involved here. Someone's hiding something here. Okay, but then we got, I'm ignoring people. We got privileged lady. Okay, so they're ignoring some pretty good people, like some people who possibly, you know, have, would be a good catch. They're willing to do that. I feel as if I want to see, I want to see what's going on with this false person. What what other additional messages are there? Why is bad health here? I'm just getting like that's flaws, you know, like for some of you it's flaws. For some of you is someone could possibly be like sick. Someone could be, you know, have uh, addictions. We got the four of pentacles, three of cups and the king of wands and the three of swords. See, somebody is could be a player, a serial cheater. Okay, let's put that out there on the table. Let's put that out there on the table. Lots of threes here, and then we got the king of wands right here in the middle. Okay, so this person that you're dealing with could be very, very charming, very good looking, um, always out in the public or people, you know, admire this person. Um, 
And I feel like, you know, for some of you, like I said, it's bad habits, okay, that they're holding on to that they aren't ready to let go of. It could be people. It could just be bad decisions, bad choices. It's something definitely that they aren't ready to let go of because we got the four of pentacles here. It's definitely something that they're holding on to that they don't want to let go of, okay? Maybe it's something that they've been hiding. Um, they wear a false mask when they're around you. And they're real stubborn because they now the cards don't want to pop out, okay? <laughs> the seven of wands here and the, the ace of swords and the empress and the ace of wands yeah for sure like it's someone here that they have possibly been you know had on the side okay for some it's like a new girlfriend or someone found out the truth about someone messing around or sleeping around we got the ace of swords the empress and the ace of wands this is definitely like someone finding out about someone sleeping with someone Okay, this is something that they've been trying to possibly keep away from you. Um, the Seven of Wands is kind of like, you know, trying to push you back or, you know, pushing you away. Okay, somebody, they could have pushed you away for someone else. Would you be willing to, you know, accept that, you know, that that's a decision that they made? Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Ten of Wands just fell out. <laughs> Why is the Ten of Wands here? Whew. Okay. The Nine of Cups. Somebody here was saying that they were single when that when all of this was going on with that nine of pentacles here. And I feel like somebody here was just living out their fantasies with this nine of cups. They were doing what they wanted to do. But I'm getting that they're saying that, look, you know, with the ten of wands, this is, you know, that situation what I had going on was a birdie. Okay? And I feel like they tried to, like, keep you at a distance. But I feel like the truth came out in some way, shape, or form that they had other things going on with the Empress and the Ace of Wands, okay? They had somebody on the side that was doing whatever they was doing. Okay, now, um, I know we will be together in marriage here in true love. Why is marriage here? The Eight of Wands. Oh, we got some stalkers here. Somebody's stalking. The Page of Wands. I'm sorry, the Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, like, that's heavy stalking. Okay, the Eight of Wands. Somebody here has a stalker. Eight of Wands. Okay. Oh, the Eight of Swords. Okay, the strength card, this is, you know, having the courage. I'm feeling like somebody here was afraid. I feel like they were afraid to tell you that they were married or that they was living with someone or it's something in that nature because we got the eight of swords, which is kind of like feeling, you know, restrict, restricted and also afraid. Okay. The strength card is kind of like the complete opposite. This is Leo's energy as well, too. But somebody got lied to. Okay, somebody here got lied to. And they waited around to see how things were going to go. They waited around, like, to kind of see how things would turn out. If their little game would work. Okay. But some, I feel like, I feel like it, it turned out bad. Okay, I feel like some things turned out bad. Somebody got exposed, okay? We got the sun card, which is Leo's energy as well. Somebody got exposed. Yeah, see, they were going to wait until later to tell, to explain 
but I don't think they ever really got that time and they're looking back at the situation with regrets because like I said the truth came out of that they were messing around or doing what they were doing the truth came out okay the truth came out Yep, the truth came out that they were juggling. Somebody here was living two lives. Somebody here had a juggling act going on. Yeah, somebody didn't want somebody to know that they were married. Okay, and I'm just putting it out here. That might not be that might not be a lot of people's story, but for some, it could be, or someone was living with somebody, or someone is already in some type of commitment. Um, we got the devil here and the high priestess. Could be dealing with the Capricorn or Pisces or Cancer. But uh, somebody knew that they messed up. Okay. Somebody knew at that point that they messed up. That's when it's like it hit them at that point. Like, you know, hey, I've completely real deal messed up. They were juggling for sure, for sure. Okay. And they knew better. They knew better. All right. So I'm ignoring other people. Like, they want to reconcile. Now they want to come back and then tell you that, look, I'm ignoring all these people. I have all these privileged people around me um, that I'm ignoring. Look, look at this. Why is privileged lady here? The Ten of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away. There was a breakup, and somebody's apologizing as well. Somebody's apologizing. Why is the Eight of Cups here? They walked away from a, from a privileged person um, to be with you. They left somebody behind to be with you. That's what I'm seeing. And they're willing to ignore this other person. Like, they're leaving this this behind. Yep, the chariot. Like I said, they're moving. They walked away from a relationship for some, some privileged person. This person may, you know, have been a good catch. But I feel like they walked away to be with you. We got the devil here. Four of cups. The seven of swords. Yep. And the lovers. And the three of swords. They, somebody got cheated on and then left out in the cold. And then they moved on. I'm telling you, they, they left someone else to be, to come to you. And they, like I said, they're willing to, they're ignoring this person. Um, they're willing to block this person out. <laughs> I don't even know if that's really even a compliment. Like, I mean, if you're looking at it as if, like, you want this person back or whatever, that's cool. But they should have never did it in the first place. That's how I feel. Like, how you going to go off and do what you want to do and then come back later? Like, everything's supposed to be cool. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say. Give me advice, please. Advice. Ask for help from others for a peaceful resolution. And make sure that you are looking for the signs. Pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to how this person responds, reacts. Just, you know, a lot of people are, you know, at a place where they're happy that this person is coming back around. But, you know, you need to pay attention to everything at this point like pay attention to everything pay attention before you just jump back into this because it can still be messy okay we got trust and we got don't stop so let me pull i do want to see why trust is here Can this person be trusted is the question. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune. 
watching the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so Spirit is saying give them a chance to, to you know, speak or tell their side or whatever. Kind of like hear them out. And then wait, you know, wait it out. Waiting to see if you could catch them in something. I'm telling you, there's something here about just, you know, don't rush. Pretty much kind of fill them out. Read them, read them, read their ass. Okay, pay attention to your intuition. You know this person. You know how this person moves. You know how this person thinks. You know this person. You know. Somebody, you know what they may tell you? They may tell you that they were using this person. I got the... Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who is very well financially, very well off financially. And keep in mind that we have this, okay, privileged lady. So they may come to you and tell you like, hey, you know, I was going through some things financially and this person was helping me out. But I planned on coming back to you. I planned on coming back to you, you know. I'm just going to lie to her or him. You know, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's what I'm getting. Like, they may tell you, like, oh, um, I was using them. I was using them or she was here. She was, they was helping me. You know, I had to get myself together. But I feel like this person was getting themselves together so they can come back to you. All right. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below i'm gonna chat with y'all later and as well guys the website will be back up momentarily we are currently restocking we sold out of everything so we're currently restocking everything so be on the lookout for the website guys if you would like to book a personal that information is in the drop box below and i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao